FDM typically has been plagued by this really easy delamination issue. FDM is just a layer by layer printing based process where you lay down hot plastic on top of plastic that's actually cooled down a lot. So you get an inherently weak bond in between the layers. What we're doing is we're reheating, heating and post heating that plastic, creating a much larger heat affected zone in the plastic part. It makes the part stronger in all directions, but most importantly, in between all those layers. We have engineered plasma that is really hot and high energy, and we put that heated plasma onto the printed part as the printed part is being built. That plasma conducts electricity into the part, through the part, and it grounds out through the print system. What we do is we combine heat and electricity to electrically weld all the layers of the 3D printed part together in printer while the part's being built. No post-processing, nothing to do after the printer. You print the part, it's heat treated, you take it off, and it's ready. This is gonna be on market before the end of the year. We're taking pre-orders now, we're in beta with this thing, we're rolling it out in 2017. The pricing is really reasonable. The package price for a Stacker 3D uh, printer with the fuse box option is about 5K, uh, higher than the conventional Stacker. Um, on the Aeon 3D side, it's again, it's about a 5K premium uh, on top of uh, where the Aeon packages are, are kind of moving. Uh, and so that'll be just below 25K. In manufacturing, FDM is scalable. So I can make very tiny parts or I can make 3D printed cars using FDM. That's just something resin-based printing can't do. Also, we have exotic uh, materials that are high temperature polymer systems for aerospace and oil and gas and biomedical applications. Those resin systems aren't available in a resin, in a resin printing process. So FDM is a solution that provides the right material at the right scale for manufacturing. Now we can capitalize on carbon fiber composites and other high-tech uh, polymer materials them, that, them, that themselves are strong, but the joints have been weak. So we're making the joints just as strong. That's what's special about our technology.